part two of week three of From Passion the Prophets course. In part two, we are gonna go over Canva. So I'm gonna show you a few examples of what it looks like to be on Canva. And then I'm also gonna show you how to create a, a slide, a post, uh, a flyer for um, your campaign. So first I wanna show you what the Pro Canva looks like. And when you have the Pro package, it allows you to create your brand kit. So your brand kit allows you to um, put in your logos that you wanna use. It also allows you to choose the colors that you wanna use. So I have two different brands. Like I tell you guys, I have my coach, Stacy Christine, and then I also have your monetize your brand online. So to be 100% honest, these can actually go out. <laughs> um, that can go, I think that one can go. And that one can go. Okay, so these three colors right here is what I use for monetize your brand online. And then I don't even think I'm gonna be using that. And then these two colors is what I'm gonna be using for um, Coach Stacy Christine, okay? So um, when you are creating a brand, I'm gonna tell you right now, it's easier to just have one brand in two colors. <laughs> um, but I do like to keep my coaching separate from my actual business. So that's why I'm creating two brands at one time. So these colors are for monetize your brand online and these colors are for Coach Stacy. So you can basically set the colors here um, and look, I'll give you an example. So when you click on the plus sign, you can choose the color that you like and whatever color that you like, you basically save this identification number right here. And you're gonna be using this identification number everywhere. So when it comes to your web design, when it comes to even your eBooks and your coaching, if you want every single thing to be consistent, you take that code right there and you use it and you save it for your brand colors. And then when you go to design things, all you do is click on your brand color and it'll automatically pop up. So then you also wanna choose your fonts. Um, Usually one to two fonts is good. For the most part, I use Times Roman and Algari Sans Bold the most. Um, the, the scripts I use for like fancy stuff, like my ebook, but for the most part for my posting so everybody can understand, read what I'm typing, I use these two fonts. So you can basically choose your fonts, play around with it, create a, a little template and just see what fonts you like the best. You just wanna make sure that they are legible with everything that you're using. So Brand Kit is amazing for the Pro Canva um, tool. Also the Content Planner. So basically you can go into this calendar and plan out the content that you wanna post. So this is all of the things that I've been creating through my Canva template. And this is basically the presentation that I just sent you guys. So building a brand and products, I can schedule that to go to any one of these pages um, at whatever time that I want. So let's say example, my Facebook page, I would want to send it to Stacy Christine. And then I will want to send it as a PNG because it's high quality or I could send the video that I just sent to you guys out to my Facebook page. But I would wanna do just the PNG and then I would write something, um, how to build a brand and create digital products, right? So that would be my posting and then I can put schedule 
posts are saved to draft. So this is where you change the time or when you wanted to post it. So it would have post, if I would have hit schedule post, this would have went out to my Facebook at 402. So you can put as many posts as you want um, up. Basically, I believe it's just one per day that you're able to put in there, but um, you can basically create stuff from Canva and then set it up to where it sends out to your social media um, at a certain time, which is freaking amazing. Um, and then if somebody wants you to basically work on a project with them, or they wanna give you templates, this is basically where they're gonna be shared at. So shared with you is um, if you go and download anybody's templates, this is basically where um, you're gonna be able to use their information and change it around. And when you hit make a copy, you'll be able to do all of your edits and everything. So um, yeah, I basically, to create my logos, I, I took a mini course and they gave me these templates to use um, with different color palettes that were available in different fonts. So I played around with a few and created my brand with that. And then I had to create an ebook for my friend Chelsea, um, who's in drop shipping. And so I downloaded an ebook template so that I can use that in order to create her template that went, goes along with her masterclass. So she sent me this masterclass, which is like super boring, a bunch of words. When it comes to webinar presentations, people want it to be more visual, not so many words. You can save your words for your ebook. So I took her information from here and put it into this fancy, lovely um, webinar presentation. And then I took the majority of her words from here and put it into her ebook. So those are just examples and ideas of what you can do. And if people share anything with you, you are able to edit them um, and redesign them for them if you like. And then when you go to all your designs, this is everything that you created. So I like to go through templates that they have and see if it fits for me. Um, in order to find a presentation for a webinar, and to find slides that are already written out for you, like these two right here, you basically go to the search engine and you put in presentation. Presentation, boom. And they'll give you hundreds, if not thousands of templates that you can use in order to create your own webinar. And I'll show you how you can basically change the colors of the actual presentation using your brand fonts that you have, brand fonts, using your, your brand content that you have. <coughs> Excuse me. So basically, if you click on the box, okay, so with this box particular, they basically took an element, which an element will have different kinds of like boxes or tools or shapes or whatever. And they put it on here to create this little kind of jagged circle, right? And so when they added it on here, they posted it on the slide at an angle so that it will give this appearance. But in actuality, you see what the whole circle looks like? They didn't think that it would look cute, just like a whole circle like that. So they put it a little bit like this. So that's the reason why the box looks a little bit funky because it's not the whole picture that's there. Um, so keep that in mind whenever you're designing any of your eBooks or presentations. But whenever this box is highlighted right here, the, this box right here is gonna show you the color that it is. So that's the color that the, um, that the template is giving you. But for you to change it, you literally click on that color and then it pulls up at the top of the page all of your brand colors. So let's say I wanted to make it pink. That's my brand color. That's the pink right there. Let's say I wanted to make this brown thing. That's not my brand color. That was just because I was testing out, <laughs> showing you guys how to test it. But this is my brand color. So let's say I wanted to change that to pink 
and then change that to pink and that to pink. And then this tan color right here, I clicked on it and now I'm gonna change that to uh, the, that doesn't look good. So maybe something like that. So that's how you can change around um, your colors. And then going into the fonts, whenever you set up your brand fonts, that's gonna be the top corner that you're gonna find. This right here is my brand font, the Allegra one. So that changed it automatically to my brand font. And then let's say when you click on this box right here, I want it to be the Times Roman one. So that changed the Times Roman. And then like say for example, you wanted to add more um, information. That's what happens whenever you can either drag it over here, boom, and that's how you delete it. Or you can just click on it and it's going to appear and then you move it to the area that you want it to. Use these lines and these margins that they show you just so everything can be aligned and look nice and cohesive and correct. Um, but I wanted to show you guys um, an actual presentation that I'm finishing up with. So let's go to that. I'm gonna go to all your designs. I'm gonna delete this because I was literally just for this presentation to give you an example. But I wanted to show you how to basically create a, um, a flyer. So you guys know that I'm all about the love hierarchy where you should love God first, then yourself, than everyone else. So I'm creating a lovely little uh, picture to diagram to display that. So I basically, I don't even remember what I Googled. I probably searched the sun, sun graphics and this one came up. I already had an idea of what I wanted to look like and this is literally exactly what I wanted it to look like. <laughs> so I was very happy to find this. So what I did was I ended up using the fonts that they provided, but say for example, I do wanna use my fonts that I always use. Um, brand fonts, so you search for brand fonts. So the Allegra Sands or the Britney, you can't really read what it says with the Britney, so that's why I didn't really like it. And then Times New Roman just looks so boring to me. So we're gonna stick to the love hierarchy, the Allegra Sands, right? And um, basically this is what it looked like whenever I started, but I changed it to my brand colors, right? So I changed it to this purple. I'm gonna change it to this purple now because that's what I decided my color is going to be. I also wanna change the color of the wording to match the rest of my brand. So let's see if it will do it. Trying to do just the sun. I'm not quite sure if that's possible. Uh, I know I can change the color of this. I really want that sun to be a bright yellow. Let me see. Okay. Okay, so this is a one and done deal. So you really can't even change the colors. Um, with it because it came as a template like that. So it's okay. I still like the way that it looks. So again, this is what it started out looking, but I don't want that whole eye and the sun and everything. I think it's cute. That's why I put it in the corner right here. But in order to do the love hierarchy, I, I blanked out all of that, right? And so basically I went to elements over here and typed in triangle. When you got the triangles, they give you a whole bunch of different triangles, right? So I chose one and I put it on top to fit so that it will cover what I don't want to be shown. So now what I'm gonna do is put in the words of um, God first. So elements, we're gonna go to lines. This is the lines that they provide for you. And what I visioned was something like, I would say these arrows. <clears throat> so 
So the arrow to balance it out. We like that. Then we're gonna shorten it. And then we're gonna change the color. Actually here is gonna make it thicker. Woo, see the difference? And I actually want it to go this way. So we're gonna spin it around. Let's do two more of those. So that's how you move it down. One by one, little by little. We're gonna make it a little bigger. And let's check how thick this one was. This one is at 20. So we're gonna make sure this one is at 20. We're gonna turn it around and let's do one more and then we're gonna perfect it. So bring it down, then we're gonna make it 20. We're gonna spin it around. We're gonna make these equal and even. You know what, I think I'm gonna change it to just regular lines. So if you want to delete, we're gonna delete. We're gonna make sure we highlight what we want to delete and take it away. Then we're gonna put this here. Make sure it's equal and even. I like the thickness of the 20, so we're gonna change it. Might be a little bit thinner than 20 though. Let's go with half of that, 10. This one we're taking away, <clears throat> adding this one, bringing it down, making it smaller, making it 10. Next one we're gonna take away, add this one. Make it 10, bring this in, so I'll pitch the triangle. Now we're gonna add some text. Okay. So let's add text. So first, since we have the Allegra up here, we're gonna go ahead and do the Times Roman. Of course, make it bigger so we can see it. And then we're gonna put God. or higher power, right? So God or higher power. And we're gonna change it to our brand font, just purple.
I don't know why it's not catching. The R. There you go. You got the R now. Let's move it up, see if we can see higher power. Or maybe we'll make the triangle a little bit bigger. When you make the triangle, oh shit. <laughs> when you make the triangle a little bit bigger. It shows, let's see. Okay, if you ever wanna go back to what you were doing, we're gonna take away this, the God part. I think that's the reason why I was doing the arrows, but it's okay. Let's just do God, 20. God. Do another one. Go to twenty. And it's gonna say you. Put it in purple. That could actually be bigger. Did you see you can't see it? Why? Why are you? So that's, we're gonna make it 44 just cause. <laughs> we're gonna make this 44 as well. Make sure that that is purple. And then let's do another one. This one's gonna be 44. And this one's gonna say, everyone else. We're gonna make it purple. So I actually put too many lines. <laughs> We're gonna take this line away. Actually, let's take that one because it's just easier. So God is first. You are second. And everyone else is third. So you see how the lines, the line makes sure it's aligned properly. It's all equal and even. It's centered. That's what you want to make sure that you use that to your advantage. So I wanted to add some numbering. Did I go? <laughs> so let's say we're going to put, keep it aligned with God. We're going to put first. And that's going to be in our brand color, the lightest color. Then we're going to do another one. We're going to do We're gonna align this with you. We're gonna put second, change it to our brand color. And then last, we're gonna do we're gonna say third. Align that with everyone else. Boom. Look how beautiful that is. 
I almost want to make this yellow to go along with my lovely theme. Boom, boom, boom. You can even move. See, first doesn't look that great over there. And you want to make sure all of this is aligned too. So first close to there. No. It should be a zero. That's how you know it's even. Second and third. So that blue line is not going to show up whenever you're um, printing this out. It's just letting you know that you have the line perfectly. And that's it. Make sure that the fonts are the same. Everyone is perfect. Fonts are the same. And then fonts are the same. Boom, boom, boom. So that's how you create a lovely little graphic on Canva. Um, I highly recommend you always putting your um, your branding. So what is the name of your business? Um, these colors are for monetize your brand online. And obviously we're gonna make this smaller, boom. Maybe a little bit bigger, boom. You can't really tell that it says monetize your brand online. So we're gonna change the font to my favorite, the Allegra Sands and boom. Look how pretty that looks. I could try using this color for right here, but I think it would be too much. And I'm gonna take away the effects because it's kind of bright. And now that makes it look kind of funky. <laughs> so I'm gonna bring it back to my brand color and now it all matches. Boom, that's how you create a lovely little presentation, a lovely little uh, graphic for um, your uh, social media. And then all you gotta do is download it. So this is where you go to change the name of it. So I'm gonna call it Love Hierarchy. Boom. And then when I download it, it's gonna save to my computer and I'll be able to post it online. So um, if you wanna continue editing, you can go to continue editing. One thing I didn't show you was, this is the button that you're gonna click to um, format it. Let me see, download. You could do transparent backgrounds to where there's, it's only gonna be this graphic right here and the words, which is really great. Um, the size, you can change the size um, to whatever you want it to be. I'm trying to find, recommend. Let's see what it does. Use camera more as opposed to, no, 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 no. So on, on the Canva app, it actually has a really easy way to make sure that it's converted into to fit your Instagram. And in the next training video, I will show you how to do that. But this was a brief presentation of how to create a lovely graphic for your social media. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great night, day, <laughs> week. I'll see y'all soon.